Hi, friends. I hope you're getting excited to celebrate Jesus with me today. I have been waiting with excitement for today's story, and I can't wait to share it with you. It's from my favorite book, the Bible. And it's my favorite book because God wrote the Bible and every word is true. You know, he wrote it especially for me and for you. When we are quiet and listen, we'll see how very much God loves you and you and you and you and you and me. In today's true story, Jesus was born, and I can't wait to hear a story about baby Jesus. Let's get ready to watch together. Fasten your seatbelts and turn your listening ears all the way up. Good job. Let's watch. Stories of the Bible. Jesus is born. This is Mary. Hi. You see, Mary was the mother of Jesus. But before that happened, she lived in the town of Nazareth. And she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Hey, -o. Hi, Joseph. Ooh, got it. Mary got pregnant by the power of God. Hey, huh? Joseph didn't understand all this at first, but an angel came and told him to still take Mary as his wife. Yeah, okay. So he did as the angel said. Not long after that, the ruler of the land, Caesar Augustus, wanted to count how many people were in the land. So Caesar Augustus ordered everyone in the land to travel back to their hometowns so that they could be counted. Joseph's hometown was Bethlehem, so Mary and Joseph traveled from Nazareth all the way to Bethlehem. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they looked for a place to stay. No, I'm sorry. Oh, man. But there was no room for them. Uh, what about her? Um, okay. So they stayed in a barn, and while they were there, Mary gave birth to Jesus. Whoa. <laughs> she wrapped him snugly in the strips of cloth. Uh, that'll work. And laid him in a manger. Excuse me. And so the Son of God, the Savior of the world, was born in a barn in Bethlehem. Boys and girls, I bet baby Jesus was so cute. And his mom Mary celebrated because Jesus was so special to her and to the entire world. That's our big idea. Celebrate Jesus. Can you say it with me? Celebrate Jesus. Jesus is the greatest gift God could have ever given us. So we rejoice and celebrate him. I wonder if Bible Bunny has any Bible words to help us learn our big idea even better. How about you get bouncy with me and we'll sing his favorite song. Are you ready? The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E Bible. Hi, Bible Bunny. We're so glad you're here. Today, we learned the story of Jesus being born. And we learned our big idea, celebrate Jesus. And we were wondering if you had any Bible words that can help us learn our big idea even better. You do? Oh. Oh, boys and girls, those are great Bible words. And here's what God wants to say to us today from Isaiah 9, verse 6. A child is born to us. His name is Jesus. God sent us our best gift ever, Jesus. And Christmas is Jesus' birthday. And that's when we get to celebrate Jesus. Oh, boys and girls, Bible Bunny wants our help. He wants to know some things to celebrate about Jesus. Do you think that you can wave your hands in the air like this? Oh, great job. So if what I say is a good thing to celebrate about Jesus, I want you to wave your hands in the air and shout, celebrate Jesus. Are you ready? Okay. 
Jesus was born a little baby, and then he grew up and he taught everyone how to live God's way. Is that a good thing to celebrate about Jesus? Yes, so wave your hands in the air with me and shout, celebrate Jesus. Oh, love it. What about Jesus healed the sick and he made the blind people see again? Is that a good thing to celebrate about Jesus? Yes, it is. Wave your hands in the air and shout with me. Celebrate Jesus. Did that help you, Bible Bunny? It did? Oh, I'm so glad. Thanks for being with us today. We'll see you next time. Bye. Boys and girls, let's celebrate Jesus and tell everyone about him by singing this song. Do we always remember to celebrate Jesus? No, sometimes we forget. But does God still love us even when we forget to celebrate Jesus? Yes, he does. God loves us this much all the time and more than my arms can stretch. And he will help us remember to celebrate Jesus. Well, it's almost time to go, but we get to pray before we do. Let's be very quiet, let's be very quiet. We fold our hands, bow our heads, and pray to God. Dear God, thank you so much for giving us Jesus. He is such a special gift. We love you, and we love celebrating Jesus. And all God's children said, Amen. Wow, today was an awesome day of celebrating Jesus together with you. And remember, tell all your friends about Jesus so they can celebrate Jesus too. Bye friends. <laughs>